there is nothing more soulful, warm and comforting than mushrooms in a herb gravy. Bang in autumn, this is one of the dishes that is well loved and it's so easy to create. Mushrooms having that umame sense and feeling just satisfies that inner hunger within you. Let's get to creating my version of a very simple, soulful, yet so comforting creation. Let's get to creating it. Into my cast iron pan out here, I've taken about 30 grams of unsalted butter. Just going to allow that to melt, but we don't want it to brown. So with that, I'm going to add about 5 ml of normal olive oil. Just have some fun allowing everything to blend into each other. And into this, I'm just going to add in about 6 cloves of garlic that I had finely minced. Now you want this to saute and scent and give all the sharp flavors, quite garlicky in nature because this will contrast the heavy scents that the mushroom brings to this dish. With the garlic nicely sauteed, in goes one large red onion and we're just going to allow this to get soft, pink and that gorgeous translucence coming through. As the onions have got soft and translucent, in goes two and a half tablespoons of some flat leaf parsley. This is the primary herb that you want to scent the entire mix. So just allow it to sweat gently along with the onions, the garlic and the unsalted butter. The best way to know that your parsley is really working out here is when you get that sharp, subtle yet strong sense of parsley warping through the air. Quite earthy in nature though. Saute this for a little while and in goes about 500 grams of local mushrooms. So while I'm using these local mushrooms that are readily available, you can mix it up, style it up, use two different kinds of mushrooms. Mix oyster, shiitake, some gucci along with these gorgeous button mushrooms and just allow everything to sweat, saute and release most of its water out on the highest possible flame. In goes now a fine sprinkling of some sea salt just to release all that umami essence that's so required in styling up this dish to the next level. With that, get some freshly milled black pepper. And this is the only heat that's going in the dish. So just be as liberal as you can handle. So go right at it. Now over here, if you want to elevate this dish with another spice, just give it a tinge of nutmeg and see how this truly elevates itself so subtly yet creating quite a star stunner. Allow this to saute for another minute to a minute and a half before we add the flour into it. Now while this is a mushroom in a gorgeous herb gravy, I'm just going a little off the beaten track and adding about 200 grams of baby corn that I cut into pieces and I've boiled in some salted water just to give you that burst of color coming together. So now you allow this to cook with the mushrooms, the parsley and the garlic and the onion till it sautes really well. Into this, now I'm going to add some sage, the second herb going in. So about 5 grams of sage, finely chopped, give you that star appeal. So sage will be that sharp flavor that now styles this to the next level, while parsley was just to mask all the sharp aroma that this dish brings. Everything masking well, you just take one heaped tablespoon of some refined flour and lightly coat everything. And now it's the time to actually allow it to get nice and brown. So allow this to brown and actually get that char settling at the bottom. You have to keep stirring till you find it sticking to the bottom. Don't hesitate to scrape off any trimming at the bottom. As this has charred and got that perfect golden brown hue, in goes two cups of vegetable stock so that it just mixes and creates the perfect gravy. So allow everything to blend with each other and come to a rapid boil. As this simmers and you get those beautiful aerated bubbles right on top, 
In goes about 50 grams of chives. That's the final herb going in. And I've just cut them into about one and a half centimeter batons. Allow all this to mix in with each other. Out here, you can allow the gravy to thicken slightly if you want to have it with some rice or just go right ahead and enjoy it with sardo bread or just some beautiful French baguette. This is ready to be enjoyed. Soulful, comforting, yet so healthy in the making. Just going to put this into a bowl and it goes straight on my table with the crustiest of bread. This hearty bowl of goodness just requires a little blob of chives right on the top to allow everything to shine. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous creation with me. Simple flavor, soulful in nature, yet so comforting. You can just omit the butter and create a vegan version of it with some olive oil. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. And as I always say, don't forget to subscribe.